let's check this out make sure we're coming in live nice unscheduled comic book haul <laughs> i mentioned uh we just ended up doing a comic book reading by the way gang and uh, i got a message from the post office that a package had arrived so i mentioned at the end of the comic book reading stream that uh we're probably going to do a comic book uh haul video right after as soon as i get back uh, from the post office and i just got back from the post office <laughs> and uh it's a comic book haul that i've been waiting and there's been it was three buys that i did one of them came earlier in the week or last week and i did open it up and i because i wanted to leave a feedback for the seller so I left the feedback for the seller as positive feedback. It was a great comic book. Uh, and uh, two other hauls have come in this week. One came in earlier, like a Monday or something, and the other one just came in today. So I figured uh, we'd do the comic book haul. Now, what we're gonna do is wait just a couple of minutes because this is an unscheduled comic book haul. So notifications may go out, might go out. <laughs> because we just finished the stream. So Twitch sometimes doesn't send out notifications as soon as a stream is, uh, if you're doing two streams back to back or two streams in the same day, sometimes notifications don't go out, I guess. Uh, so we'll give everyone a few minutes. I might go to Discord and just say, we're doing a comic book haul. I did announce it on Patreon. Okay. And I know there isn't, there's barely anybody here right now. Uh, so let me go on Discord and I'm going to announce uh, just do a quick announcement and then we'll do the comic book haul because we'll have this up on our platforms uh, on sensor to bit and rumble uh, sooner rather than later so people can see it uh, on those platforms and let me do this I'm just gonna go down Boop. 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 oops everyone <laughs> do we see it oops everyone so if you join our uh, discord page you will get these notifications on schedule call, call, call now I put few minutes on uh, Patreon haul on Twitch Ch -ch -ch. Paul on Twitch and let's send that off Boop. okay that's sent off let's close that up let's see this yeah we no notifications have gone out that's for sure right because we got three people here right now. Hello, three people. How are you doing? We're gonna do a comic book haul. Let me tell you what we got. Okay, let me tell you what we got. And by the way, this is sort of our setup. I got my camera set up here. Apologies about not setting up the camera where I can see the chat uh, right away and whatnot. But this is the setup we had earlier today, like two hours ago, because we ended up reading a comic book. We had uh, five comic books to choose from. And we ended up reading, da -da 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 -da. let me tell you what we ended up reading. Uncharted Days, how you doing? Hope you are doing well, brother. We're doing an unscheduled comic book haul. And we ended up reading a couple hours ago, we read Superman number 37 from 1945. Okay, fantastic read, fantastic read. Okay, and this, uh, this book I picked up, uh, three three years ago maybe or something like this and i ended up paying like 200 dollars canadian at the time canadian exchange rate was uh, uh not as good as it is now for us dollars so it was uh 69 cents for us dollar uh or you get 69 us dollars for every dollar canadian so it was 200 dollars canadian and basically 140 dollars us which is a great deal for something graded at 5 5.5 5. and it is that great and we ended up reading it so that was a good read i'll have that up on our video platforms shortly okay x how are you doing hope you're doing well hey guys huckleberry how are you doing 
glad to catch a live stream it's been a while it's been a while on charter days lonely piggy how you doing we're gonna do a comic book haul let me tell you what we got okay jaded masks how are you doing long time long time thank you very much for the tier one sub appreciate it and let me bring up the page let me bring up my uh da -da 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 -da. E page uh, eBay page so let me show you the first haul okay this guy comic books do not bend okay let me show you this now this guy the seller was going through eBay's global shipping program right and I contacted him and said listen I want to buy like three books that you have but eBay's global shipping program won't allow you to combine shipping uh, can you sell it outside of eBay's global shipping program? Same story as people are contacting people with e global eBay shipping. And the guy said, oh, no, I should be able to combine it. I said, look, man, I'm pretty sure you can't, but it's up to you. He goes, yeah. So I ended up buying the three books, and then he couldn't combine the shipping. So he was like, it was the first time he was dealing with this, right? So he was like, oh, God, I can't do it. Da, da, da. So he canceled the stuff, and then he tried something else, and it didn't work. And then what he ended up doing, he bypassed global shipping program. He said, oh, it gives you an option to do this and this, right? So he did that and he shipped these directly to me, which is fantastic. Okay. The shipping still cost a fair bit, but it didn't go through eBay's global shipping program, which I'm very, very happy about. And I'll show you because I got one from eBay's global shipping program and the box is damaged. Horrendous, man. I keep on saying I'm not going to use them again, but... There are some deals that you find that even the risk of global shipping program uh, can be justified i hope and this one i don't think it'll be damaged because it is a graded comic book uh the one we're going to look at but let me tell you the cost of this one this one basically is three comic books ended up costing me a total of 52 dollars canadian okay and let me tell you what the comics themselves ended up costing uh so total was 41 dollars us the comics were 27.50 and the shipping ended up being 14.25 which is way more reasonable than eb's global shipping program way more reasonable right and it's only him and me handling it aside from the uh, post office right so it doesn't go to their depot so he bypassed it and I'm very grateful for him. And I was, he was a really nice guy. And I, I, I think these are going to be good buys, good, uh, uh, good, good comics, right? Uh, he was really nice. He was a uh, private seller selling his stuff. He only has uh, like his rating was very low. He only had like uh, that uh, 135 rating, right? So that's pretty low for a seller. Elder God, more. So let me show you what we got. Ooh, I think he has one of them facing outwards, which is sort of not the best idea. Or is that a cardboard? Oh, I don't know what that is. Let's take a look. I got my fingers crossed. How are the kitties treating you? By the way, the kitties are doing well, Lonely Piggy. Thank you. One of them uh, is having a hard, hard time in the pooper. He gets a little dirty, but we're trying to train him so he doesn't get dirty. <laughs> On that front, uh, it's a little problematic. So he's getting a lot of baths. One time he had a bath, uh, two baths in one day. This is just a cardboard Whew. i thought it was the comic books so he has the cardboard facing uh protecting them right so that's pretty good okay let's take a look at this let's take a look at this so take a look it's not bad okay packaging uh, the tops of the boards are a little bit dented let's see what we got let's see what we got the guy no matter what i'm gonna leave this guy good feedback i wish he had the cardboard bigger than like why why put the cardboard not as big as the backing board of the comics that doesn't make sense to me so that's a silly thing to do 
like cardboard you want to leave a little bit longer than the comic book backing boards right so that's a little weird but let me crack this open i guess he just wanted to get him into the the package Oof, so tight so tight so tight And there's a CGC book in the other box. Okay. I'm about to watch numbers. 1960, uh, the 2006 TV series based on math. Oh, numbers. I don't know that. It's a TV series based on math. I didn't even know there was one like that. Let us know how it is. Uh, Elder God. You have a comic collection? I do, Ron. You have a comic collection. A small one. <laughs> I've been collecting for like 30 plus years. <laughs> We're going to do some comic book grading tomorrow. We read this today. Very nice. We read this today. Superman number 37 from 1945. Is Italian beer what is no no this is just a mineral water box ah, so tight so tight let's check it out I'm glad none of these books are mint so I'd say small is a serious <laughs> understatement <laughs> compared to some it is small give me another 30 years Fingers crossed we continue to collect comics for another 30 years. It's brilliant. I watched it on the first run. Really, Elder God? Did I m misread the box? Yeah, I think it's uh, uh, spell. It's the, what do you call it? Uh, natural spring water. It's natural spring water. Oh wow, he's got each one in a bag and board, front and back, which is cool. I mean, the guy was really trying. He tried so hard. He had to go through. Uh, this was the third time that we were able to get these books to me. Sell them to me. Holy tape, Batman. There's one of them bag and board on both sides so he is he is doing trying his best to make sure they're protected which i'm happy with nice guy what a nice guy could you talk about what your collection consists of like do you go uh for certain rare oh uh, ronnie i have a comic book like a three comic book related playlists on sensor tube on YouTube one of them is us reading comic books one of them is us uh, doing comic book hauls and another one is all the comic books we talk about comic books and different types of showing you some of my collection okay let's take a look at this Oof, what packaging let's check it out now we're gonna open these Wow. Feel like I'm doing operation. Okay. This is one of the comics I bought from him because I just wanted to save on the shipping. You know, it's it's a pretty good deal if it's a grade that he says it's at. It might be a little lower, but it's okay. I'm. Uh, Let's take a look. Unscheduled comic book stream. Feels good, man. Feels good. <laughs> I should have changed the title of uh, our live stream. I kept it as reading comic books. 
check this out. Let's take off this extra tape. Wow. Okay, let me crack all of them open then. Wow. Wow. This is all the extra tape. Holy thing. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Let's do this one. Wow. This is the one that I contacted him for. I wanted this one. <laughs> I'll show you <laughs> as soon as we get this open. Uh, and the other one, of course. So let me take care of this first wow. oh yeah baby this is one of the books I wanted to include in the reading but uh, because the other you know I filled up the reading list of five like pretty fast so I decided to not wait until this other one came to show you guys to include but i think at some point we'll look at this oh wow crazy tapes <sighs> crazy tapes crazy tape action crazy tape action no, this is pure ASMR. Nice. We take it. And the last one. Holy schmolies. show you what this haul was okay ASMR removing tape yeah <laughs> check this out here's the first one I ended up paying uh, just the price of the comics uh, so keep in mind it was like 1425 for shipping for all three of these right so per unit uh, because this came out to $41 three uh, so like $13 each comic came out to right house of mystery and this one he's graded it very good house of mystery number 154 Martian Manhunter purple demon let me make sure this is in frame okay so house of mystery number 154 and I don't have this in my collection so happy to have it right for five dollars us this one this one was five dollars us okay nice and yeah i would say very good very good minus which i'm okay with okay awesome jason white how you doing and take out this Here's another one. This one he said, now if this is the grade and it looks, uh, it's way better than the other one. I ended up paying, how much was this one? He He's grading this as very fine minus, right? And I ended up paying 750 US for this. Okay. This is fantasy masterpieces. Number nine and very fine minus. Yeah, I would grade this as 7.5 or so. So not bad. Good deal. 
Very good deal. It's the origin of the Human tor Torch, and it's reprints of some of the Golden Age comics, and I believe it has some original stuff in here as well, right? So the people working on this would be like Jack Kirby and whatnot. Seven fifty, no, seven fifty U.S. Seven dollars and fifty cents, not seven hundred fifty dollars. No, 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 no. Seven dollars and fifty cents U.S. <laughs> Okay, it's a good price. It's a very, very good price. It's a very good price. Should we crack it open for a little bit? Should we take a look at the inside? Now you guys can check to see um, who the who the artist. I did look look it up, but I because we we've already done the comic book haul. I didn't wanna. So I would grade this. He graded a very fine minus, so he's given it a 7.5 or so. So I would say CGC 9.8 version, yeah. Very nice, very nice. It's pretty good shape. Like, take a look. Take a look. Not bad. There's the spine. Sorry, sorry it's not focusing. There's a lot of stuff going on in the in the camera right in the frame so pretty good right captain america namor right the human torch check this out originally presented in marvel comics number one nice this is the reprint of marvel comics number one awesome 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 right originally presented in marvel comics number one the first appearance of the human torch reprint very nice very nice very nice yeah it's a very good grade very good grade oh look at this guy this is monstro originally presented tales to astonish number 18 tales to astonish number 18 right. my favorite superhero uh, i love the valiant universe right i love the valiant universe exo eternal warrior archer and armstrong uh, like really the harbor uh, harbinger harada great some of the greatest supervillains ever harada you got um, oh very nice uh master dark you got shadow man happening just so much archer and armstrong wow 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 this is a good book yeah very fine minus indeed great deal seven seven dollars and fifty cents us awesome deal okay from the main two though uh one of my favorite characters of all time he's an anti-hero or a villain really uh it is lobo i like lobo lobo is rock and roll lobo is awesome okay now here's a comic that i wanted to get from this guy and he said he was willing to take 10 for it i gave him 15 dollars us okay saucy cover okay close your eyes if you're 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 prone you know you can't handle the sauciness of it chaval noir number one nice 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 dave stevens cover from dark horse comics oh my flush dave stevens cover for is not a lot. this is not porn this is saucy this is saucy baby <laughs> so saucy is that a no no not a hentai yolo this is dave stevens cover it's an anthology from dark horse comics okay and it's a series and that went up to like 45 issues and this is issue number one okay he had graded this he had graded this 
Big budget low. Imagine a big budget Lobo movie. I would kill to see a big budget Lobo movie. I'd hire Lobo to kill people to see a big budget Lobo movie. He's graded this as fine. Okay. So six. He graded this at 6.0. And it's got a little bit of staining on the bottom here. Okay. Which is fine by me because I didn't have this when I first ordered this. Okay. I didn't have this when I first ordered this. Uh, and it's got Je a Jeff Darrow uh, spot art. I don't know what that means, but Jeff Darrow spot art, right? Is that Charlie's Angels? Uh, the true Charlie's Angels. The true Charlie's Angels. Awesome cover, really. Love this cover. Love this cover. Is that more valuable than GME stock? No, I only paid $15 for it. GME stock is going for like 200 plus, right? Should we crack this open? Should we crack this open? It's black and white anthology, and some of the artwork in this is absolutely brilliant. The stories are amazing, right? And graded a 6.0, 100% legit, and it's got stains here, right? Which is whatever. Little dent there, little blemish there. I'm okay with that. And here's the here's the type of artwork we're talking about beautiful beautiful on the ground do you recommend shorting uh short, i would uh, no naked shorting gme would be crazy to do it just in case uh people plan on playing it the other way oh saucy saucy Sa oh look at this beautiful artwork look at that right very nice very nice gang okay so this is one of the halls remember there's three comic book halls that came okay and this was graded a fine so 6.0 and this thing he would he was willing to take ten dollars us for it i gave him 15 okay because he was going through so much hassle trying to get this book to me Here's another comic book haul, and I already opened this up, so there's no unboxing for this one. Crazy how fair value is, $10 a market value, right? Yeah, but you could say that about a lot of stocks, right? Look at Tesla, it's just a meme, right? Here's another comic book that came to me earlier, okay? And this one I paid a fair price for, more than what I paid on the other ones. The shipping ended up costing me eight dollars canadian which is like six dollars us right and the comic cost 35 dollars canadian which is like let me change it to calm let's see if it will give it to me it should give it to me in us dollars which is basically uh 28 dollars us by today's price which is what it is right 28 dollars us and he graded this as very fine my, a very fine near mint okay so he graded this at 9.0 let me make sure i get this frame going okay looks great is the plot as good as the art very yeah very alien a a aeon flux right i got a feeling aeon flux a lot of it came from that right so this is the one we're talking about right this is the one we're talking about right so this one right yeah, very Aeon Flux. And Aeon Flux is an amazing series, right? So for this one, we paid, I paid $15 US, right? Graded at 6.0. For this next one, we ended up paying $28 US and is graded at 9.0. <laughs> I needed, I needed one. I needed one at a higher grade, right? And it's a beautiful cover it's a beautiful cover it's amazing and i checked it out it's very fine near mint the lowest most likely i would give this a near mint minus i would give it a 9.2 okay i would have given this one okay <laughs> right dave stevens cover saucy 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 what a beautiful cover gang i love this cover i love this cover okay so i'm happy with that buy 
And now we got a package. We did a CGC buy from eBay again. Unfortunately, CGC buy, right? And they not unfortunately CGC buy, fortunately CGC buy, but unfortunately using eBay's global shipping program. Take a look. I just picked this up and yep, damaged global shipping program sucks if you are a seller selling through ebay's global using ebay's global shipping program please stop you're missing out on a lot of international buys so i'm going to crack this open it is a cgc graded book okay so i don't think it's going to be damaged i hope not i took a picture of the of the damage on the box just in case the book is damaged we can you know say you know we've got picture of it but it's in bubble wrap and stuff so it should be good okay lucky 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 uh jason wachicho you need to make etf for comic books okay yeah the bubble is not damaged so let me take this off. So it doesn't look like it's, it's damaged, but take a look at this thing. This thing's loose at the bottom here, right? Like the bubble doesn't go all the way, it protects that on this side. We're very lucky that it wasn't damaged on that side. Let's check it out. Let's pull it out. The case is not damaged. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, gang. Let me tell you what we ended up paying for this baby. Uh, Ding Baba Chicho, I trust you've been silly walking everywhere since I dropped the truth bomb yesterday. <laughs> that was awesome. The Monty Python. <laughs> Global shipping sucks. Sucks. Now, let me tell you how much this book costs before I show you what it is. Okay. It's an important book. It's a very important book to me anyway this thing da -da 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 all together okay the the cgc graded the book cost 31 dollars us the shipping cost 27 dollars us okay now just imagine the guy could have probably shipped it to me for 14 dollars us just like the other guy or maybe 15 or 20 dollars so and it goes handling through ebay's global shipping horrendous deal regarding the shipping total it costs 58 dollars us i'm happy with that price okay it was a good price now let me show you what it is <laughs> let me take it out of the bag right let me take it out of the bag another protective bag on it and it's got its own sealed bag ready for this ready for this to do it <laughs> shaman one number one graded at 9.2 graded at 9 point i loved this cover i love this cover right i had to go for it i had to get three copies of it i looked at the higher grade ones they're more expensive right uh i couldn't even find anything more than 9.4 right cgc graded cheeky chicho <laughs> god damn <laughs> again again it's a bag. what a beautiful cover look on the bright side gang you get to look at this cover three times close up look at this look at this beautiful sauciness look at this look at this beautiful sauciness look at that be i almost bought a poster of this right fantastic fantastic awesome we add another one cgc graded book to our collection very happy about this very happy about this beautiful sauciness beautiful sauciness like beautiful sauciness right <laughs> i predict one will enter a frame soon and possibly 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 i don't appreciate how you support objectively female bodies. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is pure sci-fi, baby. Pure sci-fi. Let me show it to you outside of the outside of the CGC one because that way you don't get the glare of the CGC. Hold it there for a second, Chicho. There, there you go, Elder God, right there. Should I take it out so he doesn't get the glare? Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> It longer. <laughs> Hilarious. Awesome, man. Fantastic. Fantastic. So those are our comic book hauls. I don't have any more books coming to me. Okay, I don't have any more books coming to me. But when I saw these and uh, just Dave Stevens, I've been trying to collect. I've been trying to get uh, more copies of Dave Stevens books and stuff. I think it's very, very underappreciated. Uh, I think his books are... Uh, phenomenal the the covers that he's done are absolutely amazing gang uh, i'm all set you're all set chicho please my grandma's watching kebabs <laughs> oh no oh, that's not cool to objectify me oh, who says objectify it, it's beautiful it, it, i beautiful i i have friends that dress like that why why is that not beautiful i've been to parties where i have friends that dress like that kink is awesome man kink is beautiful man depending on your kink but all kink that is mutual is beautiful right chicho what are your top three graphic novels for a newcomer to collecting newcomer to collecting or newcomer to reading you want to read comic books that you enjoy or are you talking about investing in comic books right why is this guy still here just man that's it's whatever keyboard is too far away from me but that's okay maybe he 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 truly has been brainwashed by corporate propagandas to believe that anything that is beautiful that uh might be a little saucy is objectifying something uh they need to get that programming out of themselves and this is a good good way to experience that for example appreciating art on such an amazing level right just the pure brilliance of this right just the pure brilliance of this he would be the same type of person that would walk into a museum and any naked woman drawn by any of the classics right he would throw paint on and say oh my god they're objectifying whoever right well this isn't objectifying anybody this is beautiful science fiction this is beautiful art this is someone putting their heart and soul into their work right i appreciate this that's why i buy three copies of this right but you can live your life however way you choose i don't see that see that as objectification no perhaps because i know chicho is respectful of women yeah i to me it's the artists that i appreciate uh, someone might take this and decide to do something else to it than i do but that's their issue not my issue and it's not the artist's issue right People can choose to live however way they want as long as they're not hurting anyone else, right? Graphic novels for graphic novels for reading, uh, Muba. Do you, okay, I'm gonna ask you another question. Do you want superhero? Do you want epic tales? Do you want fantasy? Uh, do you want what are you into? Do you are you okay with black and white comic books, uh, art? Uh, so. If you want amazing uh <laughs> if you want the amazing epic story which is just absolutely beautiful one of the greatest stories ever told in comics bone by jeff smith uh so bone by jeff smith is absolutely amazing okay it's if it were with my bookcase i would show you that it's phenomenal uh, i'm gonna give you three black and white ones rachel rising by terry moore absolutely awesome epic 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 um and rachel rising by the way for the person that's here freaking out that this might be objectifying rachel rising all the main characters almost all the main characters are female and they were 
there are powerful brilliant amazing biblical uh, strong female characters absolutely a must read a must read right so rachel rising by terry moore bone by jeff smith and in bone there are two characters in there that are female that are absolutely beautiful powerful amazing phenomenal there's more than two characters main characters that are female amazing amazing and that's fantasy uh rachel rising a sort of epic biblical sort of thing um and uh bear adventures of barry ween by uh chadwick and that one is uh, a 10 year old kid that is a genius the most genius person you've ever that's ever walked the earth right and it's just an amazing humor story and that one's black and white as well all three of them are really good reads they're not superhero okay they're not superhero okay they're not superhero gang that's my comic book haul three comic book hauls three comic book buys five comic books total one cgc three of the books the same <laughs> judd judd winnick judd winnick thank you very much jingle bell chadwick i said judd winnick is adventures of barry ween highly recommend reading adventures of barry ween i've read bone twice cover to cover i read adventures of barry ween they have a uh, all the stories I've read twice cover to cover and we have a reading of adventures of Barry Ween that we did uh, as a comic book reading in our comic book reading playlist so you can take a look at that and see if you want to uh, have a read through the whole thing adventures of Barry Ween do Chicho adventures of Barry Ween uh, that video will pop up okay uh, th there's more to two female characters I get that. I get that. I, now I understand what Shot Dunn is saying. Monkey Tales. Such controversy over a beautiful comic panel. Hey, Elder God, I know. Insanity. But do we give a rat's ass? I don't give a rat's ass. In, in, in times of insanity, you must point to people who are insane and tell them, you are insane, right? Let it be. Let it be, right? gang i hope you enjoyed the comic book reading where we read superman number 37 from 1954 right or 1945 not 54 45 fantastic fantastic and i hope you enjoyed our comic book haul today it's been a beautiful comic book day it's been a beautiful comic book day i will add that many women are very uncomfortable with images like this Cheryl says if you explain the art and don't just drool you'll win them uh, to the art if you act pervy expect them to have an odd reaction yeah Cheryl possibly but I think uh, for me it's on them right they're not they shouldn't put the how they feel how uncomfortable they feel on the art and the artist they should put it on the person acting in that manner it's they shouldn't project their feelings towards the art and the artist they should project their feelings to the person behaving in that matter it's just saying it's the same way i feel about uh prohibition people prohibit society prohibits things that they deem to be immoral or problematic to society because of the behavior of certain people so they're projecting their uh, misunderstanding their fears on the object instead of the people misusing the objects right and you know this uh, Cheryl I, I know you feel the same way uh, jingle Bell, just checking in I'm still enjoying the rise as it looks like you are too during these times especially it is important not to forget that's all it is a ride Bill Hicks right and everyone if you if you don't know who bill hicks is one of the greatest prophets teachers uh in the last hundred years chicho you seem absolutely bubbly i am <laughs> thanks <laughs> either the thing i i've seen would scare them half to death elder god indeed uh simple tron 2000 exactly i completely understand that position but that's not my problem 
prohibition of sex sexist comic books really incoming yeah and by the way gang one of the reasons I, i'm i'm getting some of these saucy stuff because i got a feeling because the insanity if they were going in the direction that we're going uh in prohibition uh in censorship some of these books might become censored right so i'm grabbing my copies as fast as i can as fast as i can afford them uh, cheryl chicho absolutely but it takes time to learn how to do that yeah it takes time i agree with you cheryl i agree um for me it probably took time as well uh art is subjective so how can you take offense to it unless it's blatantly uh, prejudice yeah great conversations by the way gang chicho i'll ask you a direct question and maybe this is a uh, hodor who does who doesn't appreciate this uh let me read your comment i'll ask you a direct question and maybe you'll get my uh perspective better if you had a daughter uh and she wore like uh like this in public would you be happy about it but she wouldn't be going out in our society in public like this if she wore an outfit like this and went to a kink party went to a costume party went to a ball went to a science fiction party i take pictures i'd be standing right beside her with a grin on my face saying i'm proud of my daughter for being 100 percent comfortable in her, own, in her own body and being proud to be a woman and to express the way she feels right I, I would have no problem really i would have no problem right and i know where you're going with this right because one of the main things with society is just imagine if that was your daughter right and i agree with you there are situations where if you imagine that's your daughter then that gets you to do the right thing right that will make you understand what or put things into context understand the situation for me i have no and man if my daughter had the if i had a daughter and she had the ability to draw like this do you have any idea how much artwork like this i would have on my walls i would love it oh my god <laughs> i would i would pay her gazillions just to keep on drawing this type of beautiful art for me like and by the way if you're a science fiction fan this is part of science fiction pure and simple okay pure and simple true sci-fi deep dark beautiful cyberpunk this is it right space opera this is it life's simple when you're a dolphin life's simple <laughs> nice to see you. we're still being shown the cheeks aha <laughs> ronnie shut down this is an odd question and you don't have to answer it uh but how do you feel about uh transgender women com competing in sports against uh man i'm not gonna get into that right now right uh just because just because uh and by the way you're talking to a person that published the first ever continuing series lgbtq superhero uh series in comic books in the 1990s that yours truly i had a publishing company comic book publishing company and i'm the first person to publish and the a continuing series lgbtq comic book series right we were able to get four issues out before uh, the comic uh the distributor wars happened in the 1990s uh some people the bubble burst and the whole industry collapsed and i couldn't afford to publish anymore right so uh, i have my opinions about certain things i'm very proud of it at the time i did it because it just felt right to do i had i didn't know anything about the lgbt community right and i immersed myself in it through the artists and i went to and they we were embraced by it right there was there was a lgbtq uh, 
nightclub in Denver, Colorado that held a party specially for us. So we drove from Vancouver to Denver that a superhero costume party for for uh, the comic book where I was publishing Go Go Boy Comics. It's a rare book. It's an important book, by the way. And it's it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Were you a writer or did you do? I, I didn't do illustration or writing. I did the publishing. I, I knew there was amazing independent artists out there, creators out there that couldn't get their books published. I was sick and tired of what Marvel and DC were doing at the time, early 90s. They were producing garbage for the sake of producing garbage. They, they were filling up the shelves and a lot of amazing stories weren't being told. So I took a full page ad in Overstreet Comic Book Price Guide, monthly comic book price guide that came, and I held a contest. I said, send me your send me your ideas for comic books that you want to do, character designs, completed pages, and stuff like this, copies. And if I like it, I'll publish your books. And I ended up publishing 15 issues of comics, okay? Uh, four different comic book series, okay? Google Boy, Starry Night, Eye for an Eye, Mortal, no, actually five different comic book series, uh, Mortal Coil and Lander. And all of them were independent people that they couldn't publish on their own and I coughed up the money to publish for them. Uh, that's what I did, okay? So F anyone uh, that thinks art needs to be censored. Art needs to be shared more. That way our society will become wiser, period, okay? How do you become a publisher? You cough up a lot of money, man. It was a learning process for me. It, I was in my early 20s. I didn't know what I was doing, right? I just wanted to do it and I did it. Okay. Fun. Gang, thank you for being here. That's our comic book haul. Speedy Gonzalez outro. If you want to support this work, I'm on Patreon. We are live streaming on Twitch. I do announce these streams. 30 minutes before we go live on parlor vka minds and gap all right i gotta get the rhythm of that down for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud and we will be uploading this stream to sensor tube to bitshoot and to rumble and gang thank you for the support on all these platforms it is because of the support we're getting on these platforms especially twitch and patreon and the handful of you that are supporting this work on sensor tube that we're able to do this work and i appreciate it very much gang it's opening up the discourse i think and it's important and it's important and the mathematics of course stay gold chicho you too jingle bells think about it, chicho go make some spaghetti with that cover sauce <laughs> isn't parlor bad no a parlor's back baby Farther's back, baby, and I'm off to uh, and I'm off Twitter. They're not allowing any bitch links. F Twitter, okay. Parlor is alive and well, indeed. Did not mean it to sound like that. Oh my God, Ding Bobber. <laughs> have a good one, Chicho. You guys as well, gang. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you tomorrow if you can make it. 11 a.m. PDT my time, West Coast of Canada for comic book grading. Bye, everyone.